Thanks, Samara. Well, the high temperature today, like you said, barely hit 50 degrees. And like Samara mentioned, the temps are just going to plummet tonight. WJ Sales Brandon Lavornia is working for you tonight with some friendly reminders for these chilly temps heading our way. He joins us live with more. Brandon. Well, Megan, I'm sure our friends up north are probably praying for this kind of weather. Right now, it's probably about mid 40s, maybe hitting 50. I'm in the shade right now, so it's definitely a little cooler. Uh, but I caught up with some people down at Forsyth Park today, and this is how they're going to stay warm throughout the week. What looks like another beautiful day at Forsyth Park is actually a chilly mid 40 degree February afternoon in Savannah. While some choose to bundle up to stay warm, others are exercising to fight the cold. Well, I just put on another layer before I got here and once I started playing some spike ball I got my blood flowing and started to warm up. Temperatures will barely break 50 degrees during the daytime most of the week and at night expect temperatures to drop into the low 20s and 30s. Bob Schwantz says he's prepared to stay warm. How am I staying warm? Walk around I got my good beard. Don't forget to bundle up your children and pay extra attention to your pets. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association Smaller dogs and short-haired dogs need a jacket as well. You know, but the wind does get you a little bit. It seems like the shade is kind of cold too, so I need to get out of the shade. <laughs> you still have time to open your cabinet doors to protect your pipes. The Red Cross also suggests letting your outdoor water valves drip. And if you want your plants to survive, cover them or bring them inside overnight. As for Caleb Royce and his friends, they're looking forward to braving the chill the entire week. Maybe just put on another jacket, maybe some extra layers and come out. Once you, once you get the blood flowing and start running around, it'll, it'll warm up in no time. Now if, you, now, if you can't find yourself in front of a TV this week, you can actually stay up to date with the weather with our app for any smartphone, the WJCL app. So we'll stay on top of this. So we'll our storm trackers for you. Live in Savannah, I'm Brandon Lavornia for WJCL News, working for you.